Hmm. Hmm. Sabi ko na medyo maging bias ako kasi as I said, mas may lasa to. What's going on guys? It's me Guyver and welcome back to another video. Okay, so for this video, we're going to review or food taste and pit them against each other. The McDonald's fried chicken versus the Jollibee fried chicken versus a shop called Chicken Star. It has franchise, so okay, magalala. And my personal favorite na recipe of my mother. Okay? So, on this video, we're going to actually define now kung ano ang mas masarap. I know each, each and every one of you who are watching right now has different preferences in terms of, in terms of chicken. But, on this video, titikman natin sila sabay-sabay and we will determine kung ano yung mas mag stick na panlasa. Okay? So, of course, ang in-order ko from Jollibee would be the chicken spaghetti. With chicken, of course. And for McDo, I ordered two-piece rice meal. Okay, so ngayon, kakainin natin sila. But, of course, ang pinaka-main dish ko would probably be chicken, the spaghetti. I don't want to eat rice for some weird reason. And kung mapapansin nyo, medyo malamig na siya. Kasi in order to around 5pm and I'm taking this, or I'm actually doing this video a little bit too late. Oops! Okay. One down, one down. May nalaglag na agad na hot dog over here for pencils. Okay, so ditikman ko muna or I mean, susubo muna ako ng spaghetti. More like yung ating canvas. Taka natin titikman isa-isa yung fried chicken. Okay, so, ang una natin titikman would be yung fried chicken ng McDonald's. So, nito siya. Okay, so we will see kung magbe-blend in ba siya sa spaghetti ng Jollibee. But, don't worry guys, hindi magiging bias yung opinion ko dito because sabi ko nga, ito lang yung parang rice niya, yung spaghetti. I just don't want to eat rice. Okay, so let's start. Anayin natin yung balat. For you guys na nanonood na nakapag-try ng pagsabayin yung manok ng Jollibee and Macdo. For sure nyo papansin nyo pag sa Macdo, medyo ano siya. If I'm correct. Hindi ko ma-determine yung lasa masyado, pero medyo bland siya, or no, may, may medyo may sting siya sa dila ng kaunti, hindi sa maanghang, pero yung lasa. Ayan, okay. Moving on sa fried chicken ng Jollibee, of course, ang paborito ng bayan, or ang pasalub. Pasalub ang mga sila, plus junket banking doon na. Ito naman, Jollibee chicken. Kaya yung kompinagaiba ng chicken ng McDo versus Jollibee would be yung breading nila. Hmm. As of this point, medyo close yung panlasa ko for the two of them, ha? Hmm. Okay. So, yung Jollibee Chicken, may after... Parang may after taste na siya. Hindi siya dahil si Rana. It's more like... Meron siyang naiiwang... Sensation sa... Dila mo. Compare sa McDo's, like kahit kainin mo siya, kahit sunod-sunod yung pagkain mo sa kanya, Parang bland na chicken lang siya eh. May lasa. Ano yung sabi ko ay na parang may konting sting pero 
hindi siya nagtatagal. Compare dito sa Jollibee na parang mas... What do call this? Ayun. Mas direct sa dila mo. May rep explain kasi hindi naman ako food expert pero... Mas may lasa yung... Sa Jollibee. Okay! So... Tingnan mo na ako ng spaghetti ng Jollibee because... Medyo bias ako dito. Ito talaga yung gusto ko. Next would be yung chicken ng Chicken Star. Okay, so mapapansin natin medyo malutong. Kung naririnig sa camera. Pero since hindi naman ito masyado mukbang, hindi ko na masyado pa ito. Okay, mag-start tayo sa balat. Pearl chicken na binili kaninang hapon. <laughs> Malutong pa siya. Does it mean na mas maraming harina? Or what? Parang steam sila ng McDo. Na may konting sting sa dila. Yung lasa ha. Hindi dahil sumanghang. Pero... Ayan. Sorry, medyo namumuha na ako kasi medyo malaki yung part na kinain ko. Hmm, okay, so... Yung difference niya would be mas bland yung, or mas pale or mas plain yung lasa ng chicken star. Is it that... Kaya medyo nagtakaw kanina would be... Siguro kasi yung kinakain ko is yung balag. So on that note, Piling ko sa balat lang nag-stick yung panlasa nila for sa breading. Kaya ganun. Okay, so another spaghetti muna before we move on dun sa special recipe ng mother ko. Nihirapan ako mag-concentrate sa nasap ng pagkain. Napapatingin ako sa screen instead sa lens. Okay, so ito naman yung homemade recipe. Like, of course, magde-defer to sa recipe ng parents or sa recipe nyo sa chicken. So, this is my mom's recipe. Dito ako lumaki sa chicken na to. So, I would say medyo bias na ako ng konti. Pero konti lang. Hmm. Okay. Balak. See that? Yan. Yan. Balak. Mmm. Malutong. <laughs> Malutong pa rin. You guys want? Hmm? Sino ba lahat? Okay. Technically, mas may lasa siya. Because my mom uses a lot of spices when marinating tong chicken na to. Siguro yun yung, yun yung magiging one advantage ng special recipe or ng personal recipe nyo would be yung marination. Like, I don't know kung ano dito sa chicken to, sa McDo, sa Jollibee, or sa Chicken Star yung may marinate. For sure, yung Jollibee, I think, minamarinate siya. And also for McDonald's. Pero ito, I think, yung harina lang yung mayroong lasa. Kasi once na mapunta ka doon sa mismong meat, parang di, di, wala nang masyadong, di, wala nang lasa halos eh. Okay, so we're going to get some chunk. Hmm. <laughs> Sinasabi ko na medyo maging bias ako kasi as I said, mas may lasa to. For me. <laughs> Okay. 
Mas may last sa kasi mas rich yung ingredients na ginamit ng marinade. Okay, one last. Spaghetti, then titikman na natin sila lahat ng sabay-sabay. Ngayon, medyo hiniwa-hiwalay natin para may pang -fill filler tayo ng spaghetti. Okay. Okay, going back. McDonald's chicken. Jelly beef fried chicken. Chicken star fried chicken. Special or personal mom's recipe, or my mom's special personal recipe, or yours special recipe. Okay, so after tasting. Four different chickens at the same time. Ang masasabi ko would I would rank from pinaka walang lasa to sa sobrang okay na lasa is on the last spot would be the chicken star. Pag binili mo yung chicken star, of si unang taste mo sa balat niya would be like mm, okay, medyo may 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 lasa naman, okay na siya for the price because this chicken cost around thirty five pesos I think. But once na pumunta ka dun sa mismong meat niya, oops, motik malaglag. Wala na. It's like it's just a chicken, walang marination or what. So, last spot. On the third place would be I think you guessed it, McDonald's chicken. May may lasa siya overall, um from the balat to the mismong meat. It's just that hindi siya ganoon ka strong compare to sa ibang contender. But it's still a good chicken. Siguro is just that burp. Sorry, is that ganon siya ginawa because this recipe is an international one compared dito sa dalawa or sa tatlo na medyo local. Okay, so third spot McDonald's. Fourth would be Jollibee. I'm so sorry kung mga fans kayo ng Jollibee, but this is I mean fourth second. The thing is, as I said earlier. Lasang Pinoy siya. It has a taste from dun sa balat papunta dun sa laman. Mas strong siya compare sa McDo. McDonald's chicken, mas strong yung lasa niya. You'll know, of course, Jolly Kids kayo eh. So yun, second. And of course, the first one would be the special one or the homemade chicken. Wow, finally nasabi ko na yung tamang term sa kanya. The homemade chicken. The reason is, mas may time na binigay dito to marinate, and you have your own spices na may, na secret recipe no minarinate to. So that would end up at the top, like no question because of the ingredients that was used. Ang magkakatalo lang would probably be sa pagfry sa nila. Of course, this was fried in a pan, but these things are fried in a deep oil or you know boiler. Or, I mean, it was deep fried, but still, number one. Yeah. Okay, guys. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you got hungry or if you like this video, press thumbs up and consider self subscribing for more videos like this. So maybe, probably next time we will review the fries and Sundays of different food chain. So abangan yun. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. This is me, Giver, signing out. Peace!